the Orioles suspended their TV broadcaster, Kevin Brown, I believe is his name. Uh, <laughs> before the game against the Rays, he said that the Orioles, he was talking to me, he's doing typical preview, right? Pre-game preview, talking about the Orioles against the Rays the last couple of years. And solo. One point, he was doing it solo. So, yes, yeah, solo by himself, for those of you who keep track. Uh, I think that's important here, Brad. So he said the Orioles have won more games against the Rays this year than they have the last two years combined. Out here spitting facts. Whether you like it or not, that is a true story, right? Yep. Apparently, somebody in the Orioles ownership group didn't like it, and they suspended oh, him indefinitely. It gets better. Okay. It gets better because he also said that they haven't won a series in the TROP since 2017. Yeah. <laughs> in that same pregame interview, he's like, you got to go all the way back to 2017 to find the All Reels having won a series in St. Pete. Yeah. And and apparently they, they don't they don't like that. I don't, and I don't understand, like, if you don't like that your team has been bad for the last several years, maybe you should have been putting a better team on the field the last several years than – tanking and trying to move your team to Tennessee. Listen, li- because listen. that's what happens. Brad, I love you. And I think you're right on that. I also think this is fantastic. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. Let me on make, which side I want on the, the organization. Okay. Everything's going well. This is the equivalent of don't talk about it when a no, no is going. This is the equivalent of shut up, let the mojo roll, don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> they, we will get into this, but they, the Orioles, are number one in the power rankings in a lot of sources right now. For good reason. If I'm the Orioles and I had a guy talking like that on my organization, I'd have slapped his hand too. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I don't think I would have suspended him indefinitely, but I'd have pulled him aside and been like, knock it off. Okay. We got a thing going here. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So I see your argument as far as like, yeah, we don't want to talk about that right now. Um, I get that. But like you said, don't suspend him. Take him aside and say, we don't want to talk yeah. about the negative. Things are going really yeah. well right now because that, because right. it's kind of like with the pirates at the beginning of the year, right? Like we were riding high on the pirates for sure. But then, every, and there are a lot of people who are like, guys, just like wait five minutes. It yeah. won't last, you know? And so I wonder if even the ownership obviously feels that way because be, before the year started, they're like, nah, we don't think that they're worth investing in. Right. So yeah. they're waiting for him to come back down to earth, is what it seems like. But at the same time, though, I think it's solid because it's like these Orioles have a chance to do something they haven't done in a while. That's how good this team is. It is so good. Right? That's why I think that you bring it up. You talk about it. It's significant that this team is this good, and they're this much better than the team everybody had picking to win the World Series this year. Talk about it. Celebrate it. Come see your team. Had it been framed that way, I would agree with you. But the fact that he was just filling time, it was just sawdust content, I was like, no, stop. (laughs) He wrote that monologue, Brig. He did. <laughs> I, it's bad. It's bad form. If where's the producer who's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, no. <laughs> where's the? I know. Yeah, you would think somebody, or, or even like before the game when he's writing it, because I think it's probably up on a teleprompter, right? Of Somebody's course like, it is. Mm, maybe we don't bring that up if that's what they don't want talked about. But it cleared right. channels. That's what I'm saying. Which is why he the the broadcaster can't be liable solely, and so where who else is on the block for this? Who else is getting the hook? Because it's got to go deeper than that. Um, but of course, there's always the lowest man, and the lowest man, the totem pole, gets chopped. I, it's just the way it goes. But it sucks for him. I just think there's a lot of things going on here, and I'm really excited about Baltimore. Uh, even though I'm an ALS or AL East rival, and I, if I were them, I would also be like, knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> and see, my thing would just be like, this team's different, so go ahead and highlight it, talk about it all you want. Because yeah, it's but frame it that way, Brad. 
If yeah. he had said, holy crap, you want to know how significant this is? And this is yeah. how much better we are or whatever. Yeah, I'm with yeah, you. Yeah, maybe. Anyway. <laughs> I, you shocked me there, Brig. You surprised me, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I did. 